Hey everyone, Carefree Llama here. And on this video, we're gonna be going over how to use the map and crisis spawner on the uh, Tabletop Simulator Marvel Crisis Protocol mod. And again, this is a series of videos linked in the description below is a watch list for all of them. So if there's anything on the table you don't know how to use, click that link, find the video, and it will teach you everything you need to know. So this is how you should find the tool when you get onto the table. There'll be a map card, which is spawned at the uh, table for you, and that's gonna be in the terrain card slot. So if you wanna change that, the first thing you're gonna do is come in here over to the map cards. Uh, I'll just pull out of strict, and I think this one's pretty cool, this battle world beatdown one. So we're gonna put the cosmic cargo back into strict, put strict away just to keep the table clean and then put Battle World beat down right there in the center. So here's a good view of the whole table where you can see the map, and then in the top left you can see what buttons I'm pressing. Uh, so you, my the card here, Battle World beat down, is the one we wanna spawn, so we're gonna just click this button right above Set Up Terrain on Map. And when we do that, the old map will disappear and the new one will spawn in. So let's say you built the map, it's all here, you're ready to play, but you wanna play on a different board edge. Most of the maps in the mod will allow you to play from any of the edges here. So you just come over, above the extract tray is a rotate map 90 degrees button, click that, and it'll rotate everything on the table 90 degrees. So you can choose whichever board edge you wanna play from. Next, I'll show you how to spawn the crisis tokens. We're just gonna take the top one out of each, so the top extract is going to go over here, looks like it's alien ship, and the top secures here, which is the cosmic invasion vaults. And to spawn the tokens, now that they're in the tray where they're supposed to go, you just click the setup crisis tokens button, looks like the daily bugle, and it's going to spawn all the tokens in, first the secure, then the extract, and it's going to make sure the secures are locked down and the extracts are unlocked so you can pick them up. If for some reason you spawned the wrong crisis cards, just simply click the button again and it will remove them. And the last button on this tool we're gonna to look at will be the automatic deployment lines, which is very useful for deploying your characters. And that's gonna be this button that's kind of long right underneath the terrain card tray. We're gonna click that. And you can see some shadows appear that are over the map. The shadows give you the area you're able to deploy in. And on top of that, while the deploy lines are active, the game will not allow you to move further than the deploy lines. And so it's literally going to take you all the way to the edge and not let you go any further than that. You're able to deploy anywhere within here, and it's going to let you do that. But as soon as you try and come out, it's not going to let you. So for instance, on this map, Punisher is actually able to deploy right up here. And on this map, you could start Corvus right on that terrain and it just lets you do it, you drag across, it's not gonna let you go further than you're supposed to. And when you're done with the deploy lines, just click the button again and they'll disappear. And that's how you use the terrain spawner and crisis spawner tool on the board. If you have any questions about it, please leave that in the comments below. Also any suggestions you think of videos we should make for the mod or any features you'd like to see added in the future. Like the video if it helped you, subscribe if you don't wanna miss any more of these tutorials and have a carefree day. Oh, God, he's gonna die! 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 Oh, God, he's g